Hello and welcome to Smooth Fusion Sitefinity tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use the Sitefinity out of the box events widgets and module. So there are five components to using events with Sitefinity. There is the events module located beneath the content tab, which is where I am here. There are two pages for the one for the events calendar and one for the events details. And this is what the back end of the events page looks like. You can see we have a calendar widget here. And then on the events page, details page, you can see we have an events widget here. On the front end, this is how it surfaces with the calendar with different views or however you have yours styled. And then this is what it looks like when you click into an event, so a dedicated details page. Now let's look a little more closely at that. To create an event, you simply go here within the content type title your event, enter your description here, add a summary, <clears throat> select the calendar that you wish to show it on, but we're just going to show calendar, select your event start date and end date time zone, whether it recurs in the past or recurs every day, every workday, weekly or on Friday or any other schedule, add apply categories and tags. If you have any of these, if you have a location, you can enter those as well. You also can request, you can enter contact information for who you'd like to receive the requests and then publish. And then when you, once you create your event, you can go into the calendar. So we already have our calendar widget pre-configured to pull in all events regardless of types, but you can narrow your selection by event states, selected events filtered in different orders, control the start of the week, the default month, default view, whether it's month, week, work week, day, agenda, timeline. You can also change your template if you have additional ones and then you select the page that you want the details for that event to show on. Click Save. And then when you're in your events page, your event details page, you grab the events widget, put it on your page, and apply the same styling that you would if you were on the other page, if that's what you're aiming to do. Click Save. Publish the page. And then that's how you get your front end views for these pages. For more Sitefinity tips and tricks, subscribe to our channel, check out us on Facebook and Twitter, and don't forget to follow our blog. Thanks.